increasingly researchers are realizing that these long established cell lines that we've been working with in culture for many, many decades have sort of become Frankenstein cells. So um, if you torture them enough, they will confess to anything. They're not necessarily going to give you answers that are applicable to the human condition, even though they give you cool answers. So increasingly people are starting to work with cells that are better models, such as primary cells, stem cells, for example. And they're working in culture techniques that do a much better job of modeling how cells exist in the human body. Some examples of that would include 3D culturing, because when cells grow in a two-dimensional structure attached to plastic in the dish, they're not making those vital connections that cells that grow attached to each other make. And so all of those things are part of what's going on in our bodies every minute of every day. And so when cells are growing three-dimensionally, now they're establishing those connections that are similar to what's going on in the body. And in, what we're finding is that that's very different from what happens in a two-dimensional culture where the cells are attached to plastic.